I have a question here from Taylor. And Taylor asks, uh, and I believe this is referring to Chromebooks or Google Drive. Uh, no, it's referring to Google Drive. Taylor's asking a question about Google Drive. If there's a sudden power failure, if there's a disruption, can I choose to keep certain files or folders with Google Drive uh, synchronized the old way? And by synchronized the old way, they mean, can I keep them available offline? And this person, Taylor, is worried that it's gonna delete folders on her Google Drive if there's no backup happening. Now, I can't say for sure that there isn't a problem with this person's computer, but what I can say for sure is that Google Drive is designed to work both online and also offline as well. So what was formerly called Google File Stream is now just called the Google Drive app. If you install that on your Mac or your Windows PC, uh, you will get access to Google Drive and it will synchronize files between online and offline. Now it does this intelligently so it doesn't download the whole of your Google Drive down to your computer. It's just gonna download the files that you're using and it's gonna keep a cached copy locally on your computer of files that you frequently use or files that it thinks that you might gonna be using soon. The other thing that you can do though is you can enable offline working for your files as well. And so offline working is going to let you choose certain files or certain folders to be available offline. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you what that looks like so you know how to switch on offline files. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, and if you're on a Mac or a PC, it's gonna look a tiny bit different to this. Uh, I'm actually on a Chromebook. And so on my Chromebook, uh, it's got a pretty distinctive uh, file browser, which will look a bit different, but that's okay. Effectively, you're first gonna to go to your Google Drive and I've got my My Drive here. Uh, I've got a demo folder here. And if I decide that I wanna have this folder available offline, I right click and I click on to available offline. And it's gonna put a little tick box there and it's gonna start downloading any content inside that folder offline. Anything I add to it will stay offline. Anything that's added online on the, uh, you know, the browser version of Google Drive is then gonna be synchronized down to my computer as well. Now, if the internet connection is severed or something goes wrong with that for some reason, it's going to then just resynchronize when you connect back up to the internet again. It's all pretty simple and straightforward, uh, but that is going to keep that machine updated for that particular folder based on the amount of bandwidth that you have and the amount of space you have in your computer. Uh, you can actually download quite a lot if you need to. Now, when you're working with a Google document, so that might be a Google Doc, a Google Sheet, a Google Slides presentation, what Google will do is it will put a link to that offline file down on your local computer, and it will actually synchronize the data using Google Chrome. So if you wanna work with one of the Google Docs offline in the document format of Google, then you can actually work offline and it will save that to your computer Obviously I can't demonstrate that, uh, what working offline looks like right now, but you will actually see when you're working with an individual spreadsheet um, that it is available for offline use. So right now this says all changes are saved to drive, uh, but if I was to sever this internet connection, uh, then it would actually update here and let me know that it was saved offline anytime I'm making changes offline. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content. And if you need more help with your Google Workspace account, there's four ways that we can help. Number one, join our free community group where others in the community help support each other with the Google Workspace accounts. And I'm in there from time to time answering questions as well. Number two, take advantage of our free transfer in offer to get a bunch of additional value for your Workspace account just for transferring your billing over to IT Genius. Number three, you can take advantage of a free consultation if you qualify or an IT systems check and audit for everything technology in your business. Number four, if you need help right now, you can either join our concierge program or book a one-time fix-it service to get support from our professional support team for everything Workspace and the Google ecosystem. See you in the next one.